Um, hello everybody, Salam Alaikum. I'm Alia. So today I decided to share my stories of revert to everybody, especially to stories of New Muslims page. So currently I'm living and residing here in Dubai, but I was born and raised as, in Philippines. So I'm a Filipino and uh, I'm living here in Dubai for five years already and Alhamdulillah I embraced Islam two years back so I'm not here in the page and sharing my story with you to impress someone or to debate with someone regarding the principles and knowledge and informations about Islam because I'm admitting that um, I'm still learning and I'm just new and I'm still in the process of discovering and uh, finding out more about this religion. So, um, basically, why I, I'm here is because to, you know, I feel that I need to do something and, you know, to inspire people who are still in doubt um, to embrace this religion. So let me tell you this, that, you know, I'm not against any religion or um, maybe traditions or culture because as a human, I'm speaking like as myself. So I know myself very well. So I'm, I'm a Catholic, uh, ex-Catholic before, like since birth, I went through baptism and uh, confessions i'm doing that i'm going to mass every friday i went to catholic school by the way so for four years i'm studying in catholic school so basically we have a catholic uh, and christian living subject there so um yeah thank you everyone some people are online now so basically it's working i felt it's not working like few minutes back and um uh so where am i so basically that's it so you know also my family they are all catholic presently currently they are at, they are all catholic still and i'm the only muslim person in my family they are very religious my father used to serve in the church before i used to do to serve also in a uh, church i'm very active in um, church activities before i used to 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 sing for the church christian songs i used to uh, read the bible uh, first reading, second reading. I used to help uh, the church a lot of times. And before, I used to pray um, the Holy Rosary. And uh, I know a lot of saints and prayers, you know. So, so you know, I don't have plans of converting because really in philippines the conception about muslims is totally different in philippines so it's like 10 percent to 15 percent of people there are muslims so still there's also muslims in philippines but you know because of the news and the mm, wrong doings of some of our brothers and sisters there the concept of Islam and Muslim, you know, went totally wrong and different. So I'm telling to myself that time that no way I won't, I will embrace that religion. I cannot be a Muslim because they are terrorists. They're killing people. They're stealing something. They have guns. They have this long beard and hair, which is, you know, scary at first sight. So when i was there in philippines you know we are so bonded me and my family every friday every sunday we are going to the church 
and we are praying together and uh, so it's totally you know life changing when i decided to embrace islam so everybody like um everybody's asking me what happened to you why you uh turn your back to jesus who saved you from your sins and who's the reason why you're alive why you left uh us um and and just leave so there's a lot of questions my family they didn't talk to me like for three months my friends question me a lot they're cursing me they're so mad at me some friends they even try to bribe me by paying me money to go back and read the bible again so it's so painful because you know these people you know years and they should have known you better than anyone else but they question me they question me a lot and by one snap they are all gone i swear like the hardest part of conversion is like the first three months after conversion no one's speaking to me i think i like i feel like i lost everybody my family my friends and i feel like nothing's left uh with me except allah so by that month i used to study i read more and more and more about islam and slowly slowly praying making salah i strive so hard to pray because it's arabic i cannot even understand that and before you you know you can perform a salah you have to memorize at least few surah uh, to you know to start and uh, alhamdulillah he guided me now i can say that you know i'm praying and i'm doing ramadan i'm joining ramadan i'm three years fasting during ramadan it's super hard but at the end you will feel that it's uh, all worth it so it's like that so now alhamdulillah my family they accepted me inshallah soon they will also uh, embrace this religion but about us we are not forced to to in to, to push someone to convert to islam this is not what is written in quran so if you embrace the religion it should be coming from your heart you know so how it started i'm living here in dubai like for five years and i just converted like two years back what happened so maybe because i was exposed here in dubai and really i swear it's totally different when i see muslims around here they are so nice they are so giving i work with colleagues everybody's muslim i'm the only one who's catholic by that time during our meeting they're stopping for prayer i i didn't see anyone who's shouting their patience their sabr is so long they cannot easily be mad and if they're mad they're saying astig for allah so you know little things i'm noticing it's not because they want me to be a muslim or they opened islam to me no but you know i was attracted and fall in love with this religion because of the people around me the good people so when i see them how they are as a muslim slowly i'm thinking oh the the concept or the views i'm thinking about the muslims in philippines is totally different from the muslims here in dubai so see it's not the same even in our ex even in my ex religion before in catholic there are different sects I mean sectors so you cannot say like you know also let me tell you this and also this is maybe i have learned this from school but maybe you can correct me if i'm wrong you know in islam it doesn't mean that in islam even if you're a muslim you will go to heaven or jannah like it mean you know islam doesn't teach us that if you're a muslim or no you don't have chance of getting to to heaven like you know because also i i can i can maybe justify a little example for christian the true christians will follow the 
path of Jesus Christ. They will not treat him as God, but rather as a prophet like how we treat Prophet Muhammad. My teacher told me before that on the judgment day, you know, God will come to judge us. But, you know, there are some groups like example, the Muslims are on this side. Prophet Muhammad is on top of us because, you know, he's our leader. So we are his followers. So we are at his back. So at some some groups, there is also like Jesus. At the back of Jesus is his followers. But it doesn't necessarily mean that Jesus is God. So this is how my teacher before explain how it is like everybody has a chance but you know the faith should be only one should be god but why i chose islam is really still you know until now it you cannot answer that because by heart you just believe that there is only one god islam is the you know is the, the most simple basic religion of all it's monotheism, so we only believe in one God, and that's ma that makes it special for me, because I was, you know, I, I was grew, I grew up, uh, praising different uh, saints, and praying to Jesus Christ. I, now, you know, slowly studying and reading about um, who is Jesus and Mary, like when I read it in Quran so they are like also prophet jesus is also prophet like muhammad so you know before i used to debate with my boss because he's asking me a lot of questions who's jesus who is your god who will who is the one like you who will come here to judge the living and the dead i'm confidently saying it's jesus and then he's telling me are you sure are you sure that it's jesus who will come to to judge you on the judgment day like i'm saying yes okay tell me who is Jesus? who is jesus why is he god so by that time i'm speechless and i'm shy to myself because i cannot even justify who he is so i begin to question myself am i on the right track or you know i studied in catholic school like does my faith is lesser compared to a muslim so a lot of questions are coming to my mind so slowly like my family my friends they don't have idea the day i converted it happened when i went to philippines one time it started all there after three years of staying here in dubai i went to vacation and uh, i'm telling you like i have a son so mashallah he asked me mama can we go to church and pray i told him of course sure then we go to church inside the church he pray mashallah he knows all the songs of worships and he knows how to pray but i was completely like speechless when i was there i was not praying i'm looking to the, all the images it's like something struck me like should i be there inside that church so of course like we finished the mass and we went home a few days back i came back uh, i came back here in uae so that day like a week after i arrived here in uae i don't know like it's so weird like i used to listen to christian and worship songs because i feel like like you know my faith it was less like i questioned my faith when i was in philippines so i trying to rebuild it by listening to worship songs so to internalize like who am i and what's my religion and it should be like affecting me so i listen i listen to worship songs while i'm listening it's so weird that because when i'm listening to worship song of christian songs suddenly it changed while i'm listening it changed to if you know that song by uh zayn it's the heart of muslim so suddenly it played on the playlist 
how it happened, I don't know. But it played on the playlist, Heart of Muslim. So that song is so amazing. And, you know, every lyrics that I heard from that song, it opened my eyes to what Muslims are. It's a story of a mother and a kid. And the mother, you know, they are poor. And the kid is like, you know, questioning her mom. Because her mom told him, like, they should give that food, their food, to the poor. And then the, the kid asked her mom, why we should give it to them? We don't have anything with us. And the mom said, no, we are full. We should share this to others. We are full because Allah loves us too much. We don't need anything more than this. So, you know, by that lyrics, oh, the Muslims are like this. Their heart are pure like this. So, that day, I listened to that song. Immediately, I searched about Islam. I googled it and look for some sites and blogs about Islam. For a week, I read about Islam and I discovered a lot of things. The things that, you know, I wasn't able to answer before when some Muslims asked me, who is Jesus? By reading that one week about Islam and, you know, pushing myself to find out more, I listened to debates by Dr. Ahmed and uh, Dr. Mufti. So really, it helped me. And really, it was like an eye-opener to me. Like, whatever I think about Islam and the Muslim people, uh, you know, way back in Philippines, really, I eat all what uh, what I've said. So also, the, 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 the words that I've said, that never in my life I will go to this religion. Really, I'm ashamed to myself because I was able to, tell that and now where am i so now i'm a muslim sorry like you know see i'm still a little emotional when i'm speaking about this religion because it's really um you know i owe it to allah whatever i have right now you know the moment i embrace islam it's so it's life-changing you know before i'm telling you everybody i'm not perfect like maybe i'm 32 years old now and maybe 20 years of my life uh, i'm eating pork i'm drinking alcohol i tried smoking i'm going to clubs and bars i'm partying all night i'm wearing sexy dress i'm curling my hair i'm wearing heavy makeup I'm wearing high heels and uh, putting colors on my nails. I'm having, you know, uh, haram relationships be before. And uh, all imperfections, I, I have it. So, I'm not a perfect person. So, you know, the moment I embrace Islam, you know, Islam will didn't push me or didn't tell me to stop everything but it will let you wake up like you know islam is so simple it will not force you or push you to be something else or to not do this to not do that but you know islam will let you understand why you have to give up all of this you know if you will of course, we, we you read everybody, you know, you know Quran. Every it's like a, you know, it's the way of life. So everything that is you know, not allowed or you know prohibited uh, for the Muslims, it's all written there. You know, Allah is so good that He puts some points for us. That all we need to do is to follow it. You know, example eating pork before I loved it too much you know my mom is cooking it every day so I'm used to that food for the long time like I cannot live without it but when I read you know information about uh, pork why is it so bad even if you cook it the virus and the bacteria will not die 
So, it's scientific scientifically speaking, it's really bad for your health. So, I should stop. But see, Islam is not on that part. But scientific, scientifically speaking, it's bad for your health. So, I should stop that. So, if you read Quran and you will tally the scientific explanation, you will see and you will read that Allah prohibits human to take something which will harm their body. So Allah is just so loving that He's so concerned about our body that He don't want us to be destroyed or to be sick or He's protecting us. So as like, you know, I appreciate that. He don't directly say to do not eat, but He wants us to be protected. So anything that is harmful for our body, let's just stop that. By just thinking about these words from him, directly I gave it up. Now, alhamdulillah, for two years, two, more than two years, I'm not eating pork anymore. Even if I smell or see my friends eating it, it's normal. Like, no one can push me to eat it again. And alhamdulillah, even my son is not eating it anymore. So... It's, you know, it's so basic and it's so happy. It's, I'm just so happy to, to be a Muslim. You know, alcohol, you know, I've tasted all kinds of alcohol. I'm not bragging about it. But really, when you take alcohol, it will make your mind stop. And you might, you know, you can do something that's bad for your body. And also for other people, you might hurt them. You might uh, curse them. You might... You know hurt some people without your consent because you're under the power of alcohol so again you will remember what Allah said anything harmful to your body just stop it so direct I stopped that Alhamdulillah I didn't take any alcohol till now so you know I can say that my my life has totally changed because of Islam. I don't regret anything that I gave up for this religion. You know, um, also like my friends who turned their backs on me because they hate me as a Muslim. But slowly when they see me, like, maybe I can say that I'm a better person now. I don't curse. I don't say bad words anymore. So, that's what Islam cause. And brings to my life so it made me a better person I'm admitting that you know I need a lot more time to study and to discover more about this religion it takes time you know it's like a school I know what course I want uh, you know to get in for college so what you need to do to reach your goal to be you know to graduate and get a good job you need to study but Initially, you know what, what course you want. So, Islam is like that. I know what I want, which is this religion. So, to achieve or to get what I want in terms of religion, I should study. And I'm so thankful, alhamdulillah, I have a lot of friends. And also, um, actually, this uh, page, Stories of New Muslims, it really helped me a lot just by reading the stories of my sisters and brothers who also embrace Islam. I'm really inspired and, you know, I'm just surprisingly, like, amazed how also Islam touches other people's lives. So, this page really helped me, you know, to be a better Muslim, I can say. And also, uh, Slowly, like small information, like maybe five pillars of faith, um, what to do and know, like about, you know, like maybe habits, like what you should do and know, like simple basic uh, precautions about Islam. I'm reading it in on in the pages, so I'm thankful to all those who are sharing their ideas, their knowledge and their experiences in this page because you are helping us new reverts like you know to be guided in a right path so 
I'm encouraging everybody also to share your stories like what I'm doing. So I'll be inspired and also other reverts will be inspired hearing your stories. And also, you know, it's just like um, amazing, you know, this few hour, like few hours of talking or at, I mean, maybe if I talk here like for one day, it doesn't make sense because, you know, I'm overflowing with the stories and experiences like how Islam touches me every day. Like I feel blessed every day to wake up and, you know, it's just, I don't feel alone. Sometimes everybody, like every one of us is feeling, you know, down, alone, depressed sometimes. I used to be on uh, depression stage before, you know, all the person have their own struggles in life and also I'm one of them. So before I was so mad and I'm blaming God for everything what's happening in my life. So now, you know, Islam teaches me like to be patient. Really, because you know, whatever happens in our life, he, uh, good or bad it's all in the will of Allah so he will not give us anything that you know we cannot manage if he takes away anything from us maybe he wants us to come back to him to worship him to speak to him so he's so good that he you know he will just stop us by removing something in our life maybe money family one loved one maybe he will remove them from us what sometimes you know just to remind us that hey you know remember me you know you're here to worship me so at least give me some time so see how good he is like and that you know this way we should you know see life this way you know i'm not saying that you know we should be happy enjoying life even like we don't have anything or we have problems no but you know I'm just saying like um, sisters and brothers you know if uh, for all that's happening in our life um, happy moments and sad moments we should have time to worship him you know not only because we need something from him but at least we need to thank him like for simple things like waking up in the morning like eat like if we have food to eat you know just simple worshiping like bismillah you know it's all worth it this is like how it's just so amazing how islam is it's so simple you know it's not so hard and see like um a lot of people um, i'm sorry because the connection is really poor here in my room so like let's go back going back sorry if you are you know because my english is uh, not too good and maybe i'm speaking um so fast and my accent is unclear so i kindly bear with me but you know i'm just trying to to share with you guys um my personal experience and my personal opinion about islam so if you have questions also you can ask me um i see there's a lot of messages and uh, thank you for your messages and uh <laughs> thank you so much for all the likes and messages uh, thank you so much it's overwhelming to read all your messages to me i really appreciate it and you know, this is what I like also about Islam. You know, when I converted, all Muslims that I've met, no one questioned me. Why you convert to Islam? Uh, why you're here? No one questioned me. They just simply embrace me. They are so happy to see me, like, as a Muslim. So it's so, like, it's so weird to feel that way. Because I don't want to judge other people. But the reactions, you can see how, how the persons are through their reactions. 
Muslims people they Muslim people they don't even question me even once why you came here why you converted to Muslim you shouldn't be here you're a Catholic so you should stay to your religion no one no one no one no one ever questioned me that way everybody embraces me they are happy they give me money my bosses they bought me abaya they gave me Quran they send me books a lot of people are so happy after my reversion so it's so overwhelming like you know even if my friends and you know my family left me hanging for how many months i never felt alone because muslims my friends my colleagues they are there to to support me like i felt i've got a new family so that's how it was so it's just so amazing and slowly my parents they accepted me my mom i sent her my pictures of you know wearing hijab so in return she bought hijabs in philippines and sent it here in dubai for me to wear so alhamdulillah she totally accepted me and she's beginning to ask me what's islam what i'm doing you know you're not allowed to eat that why so i'm explaining it to them and they're getting me now i'm telling them i'm still your son I, i'm still your daughter the old glaze up it's just that maybe you cannot see me uh, posting without without the uh, uh, cover on my hair or maybe now i'm more better because you will see me like praying like few times per day when i go to vacation and maybe you won't see me eating pork anymore so that's basically the changes that you can see on me but still i'm your daughter i'm still the old like you know glyza that you've known before so <clears throat> so a lot of people are asking me like um, um i want to convert in islam but you know is it necessary to cover my hair or to wear something like this to tell you honestly when i converted it's not easy like i converted today and tomorrow i will wear hijab and cover myself no it's not like that you don't have to force yourself to wear those but allah will help you to fully accept it and you know just just cover your body because if you will understand islam and what's the value of women in islam you will be shame on yourself why you're not covering so see if you have proper knowledge and uh, information about the do's and don'ts in islam it won't be e it won't be hard for you to accept or give up something for this religion after my conversion it took me like three to four months to cover up why because my colleagues my boss is telling me oh uh, Gliza, you converted to Islam, but it doesn't mean that you have to cover or don't push yourself too hard. Islam is it's not a hard religion. It takes time. You know, feel to yourself that you are ready. Once you're ready, then give in. So slowly, slowly, I study. I again read, read why the Muslims are wearing hijab. Then there is one article. In Christian and Catholic, Mother Mary is wearing a veil. So, definitely she's covered. So, technically, the women should be covered. And also, in Catholic, the nuns are wearing covered the uh, hairdress and they are fully covered. The nuns who are serving the church. So, basically, normally, the women with so much, you know, uh, religious uh, faith, or religiously serving the church they're also covered so it's like a basic women should cover themselves too so it's not only Islam others are showing their their modesty so why shouldn't I it's like that so after three months or four months I decided to fully give up my clothes and uh, um, 2015 of um, 
2016, Ramadan of 2016, is the day, the first day of Ramadan, I started to wear hijab and everybody was surprised and happy to see me without my hair. So from that day till now, Alhamdulillah, I'm covering my hair. Sometimes I'm not perfect, I'm not wearing it properly, but you know, also, I don't want to make it hard because also I'm speaking like because of my friends who is advising me like uh, actually I do my conversion with uh, Sheikh Hamza so he's a Sheikh and uh, I've met um, his wife Shaima Alhamdulillah you know I've met this couple and they really inspire me a lot especially especially Shaima she's the um, wife of Sheikh Hamza so before I convert she talked to me by the way so she's wearing niqab you know only her eyes will be seen so I spoke with her she hold my hand and we entered the mosque the first time I entered the mosque just like I want to cry because you know the feeling is so solemn it's so like the smell there is like flower and the sound of the recitation of Quran it's just you know giving me goosebumps so it's amazing that's the first time I went inside a mosque and I'm with Shaima just wearing niqab and then we sat she removed her niqab niqab oh my god she's one of the prettiest lady I've ever seen I don't need to describe her face without makeup and uh, she's just so beautiful and it's so amazing that no one can seize her except her husband so see the beauty f you know at the back of that niqab it's amazing so when he when she asked me okay Gliza, i'm so happy because you are converting but can you tell me why you want to convert and why you want to be a Muslim she asked me that's before my Shahada so I told her no because you know I believe that there is only one God and then she told me you can ask me why I love this religion too much I asked her okay why you love this religion too much Shaima answered me you know because I love this religion too much Islam because how they value the women women are so high in islam so everybody's respecting us if you will be marrying soon inshallah he will take good care of you and you know um how they respect you and how they look up to you it's different you will be like a diamond in islam because they that's how they treated the women like the muslim women so by hearing that alone it's like you know my heart is jumping like i never felt any sincere words from a muslima you know after hearing that from shaima really like stoned me and what what happened next i went to that mosque without hijab because i'm gonna make shahada that day she went to the cabinet and get a hijab for me. You know what she did? She covered my hair and told me, You know what? You are very beautiful in front of Allah. So you don't need to show off this thing, my hair, to other people. With or without this, you are perfectly beautiful in the eyes of Allah. So you don't need to show this off to others, even your skin. This word really touches me. And really like I felt like I was renewed and my value as a woman, it increased. She's amazing. Then after that, she called her husband, Sheikh Hamza. He asked me like, okay, are you ready to take your shahada? Something like this. That day, when I took my shahada with them in front of Sheikh Hamza and Shaima, I was crying, I was bursting into tears. 
when I said my shahada, La ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan rasulullah, these words really, <laughs> I'm over, like I'm crying too much. But the, the moment I recited that, it changes my life. And they told me like, I was like a baby that time because all my sins were forgiven. This is also one blessings of Islam. Before I enter this, of course, as a human, I did a lot of mistakes for my life. And, you know, like in Catholic, we need a priest to say or confess or all our sins. Like, he's a mediator between you and God. So you need to tell him your sins and he will say, in the power vested on me, your sins are forgiven. How come he is not God? So how can we say that we are already forgiven? So this is also my doubt on my faith before. So I feel I felt I have a lot of mistakes and sins that I've done in my previous life. And you know, I'm always praying at night like God I have a lot of sins, but please forgive me and let give me the peace and you know, give me the peace to fully feel that I am forgiven by you. I never felt that for 30 years. But when I embraced Islam and I said my shahada that day, I was bursting in, bursting in tears because for the longest time that I'm praying for that sign of peace and touching me and remind me or at least inform me that, you know, my sins are forgiven. That day, May 11, 2016, no, May 11, 2015, I'm sorry. That day when I took my shahada was the day I was reborn. I felt that all my sins are forgiven, that I was a new person. That I'm not Gliza anymore, I'm Alia already. And uh, finally I got an answer from him that I was totally forgiven and I was a new person. So the, see, I owe it everything to Islam. How's my life now? <laughs> And who am I am? Who I am now? It's all about Islam. Um, you know, I don't want to be fake here or tell you things or stuff like this, like to convince you or to impress anyone. No, you know, after I convert to Islam, I feel my my life became so light. I feel struggles and problems uh, most of the time. But I don't take it uh, too hard like before, you know, because my mindset, my mindset also changes when I entered Islam. In which way? There are times that I will feel that I'm broke, I'm alone. But I'm always thinking this way. Um, Allah wants me to to speak to him and be more closer to him again to increase my iman so i won't ever feel disappointed or mad about life or sad about anything because it's all allah's will why i'm feeling that way why these things are happening to me so you don't have to question him why he's giving you these problems and burdens no because simply he just wants us to reconnect with him if you will think this way you will never feel sad, you will never feel mad, you will never feel lonely, you will appreciate all little things in life. If you will think about Allah and His purpose, His reason, why is He giving you these challenges, you will appreciate life more. If you receive good news, how many times I failed, I lost a job, it's so hard for me to look for work. And when I pray to Him, you know, completely and with all my heart, He will give it if He feels that you deserve that. And you know, Alan knows best, so you just have to put your faith on Him. If you lose one work, maybe it's His will. He will give you another one which is better than that. And it happens to me all the time. Most of the time, it's happening. He's removing something from me 
my work, my position. Maybe my friends, but he's replacing it with with the better people, with better work, with better salary. Alhamdulillah. You know, so you just have to be faithful to him. Put your trust on him. Allah knows best. And we know not. So it's easy. Islam is so easy. I love this religion too much. I don't have any words to describe how I adore this religion. See, I'm just new. I still don't uh, know everything about it. I'm just in the basic stage of learning Islam or, you know, discovering it. So imagine me more if I if I learn more, if I acquire more information about Islam, so who will, you know, who will be I am if I am going to that stage? I'm still on the basic, but see how I adore Islam, how I love it. So I'm so excited to discover it more and to study more about Islam, I want to speak Arabic. I want to read Arabic. I want to understand because I want to read Quran in Arabic. Because, you know, still, I'm reading Quran in English. But they're telling me if you will understand the Arabic uh, wordings, it's much deeper. And some words in Quran, like the Arabic terms, you cannot translate it in English. So I'm dying also like to learn Arabic because of that. But inshallah, Allah will find ways for me to understand and study one day. And uh, I just don't have any more better words to say about this religion. It's really amazing. You know, I don't care if people will hate me for be becoming a Muslim. I don't care if my family will hate me or will leave me because of this. It's my family, I don't care. But I will be choosing Allah all over again. No doubt. Like, no. Like, it's, <laughs> I don't know, but Allah is like our life. So, if everybody, if the world turns their back against me, I won't be scared. Because uh, Allah is always there for me. He's helping me in everything that I'm doing. And uh, I cannot be much happier, like, you know, like now because I'm a Muslim. And uh, let me let me stop and rest for a while. I'm talking too much. I'm sorry. And again, there's a lot of uh, messages. Thank you so much for all the messages. And... Uh, the greetings that you're sending me it's overwhelming to to read all your messages it's my first time to to speak live in any social media but uh, alhamdulillah he helped me speak maybe some people don't get me or fa fa found me so fast in speaking but uh, right there again so I will just like put it in um, near me hmm. sisters yeah thank you so much for sorry I'm reading all the messages so <coughs> I'm overwhelmed because uh to Sister Miriam, I appreciate it. Masha'Allah, Sister May Allah bless you always and grant you with Jannah. Congratulations, Allah Akbar. Thank you. Thank you, Sister. So, I read all your messages. Uh, thank you so much. You know, I'm encouraging everybody again to share your stories uh, with stories of new Muslims. And if you are also still like shy to, to share your videos, you can also share your stories with them um, by just sending them a personal message with your pictures and your story of revert. So it will inspire other people and other reverts like me 
you know, to fully understand and to fully be convinced what Islam can do to their lives. So let's inspire other people. And also, um, another thing, another thing, I want to share this one. Because also some people are asking me how my parents accepted it easily. Because some are afraid to convert or to embrace this religion because maybe their parents will be mad at them or maybe their family will kick them out of the house. No, it's not like that. You know, being a Muslim, I'm telling you, no one ever convinced me or pushed me to embrace this religion. But, you know, just because I'm seeing a Muslim and how he acts, how he talks, how he treats other people, by that way, you will engage other people to follow you. So, about me, example, Alhamdulillah, I have few friends who also converted like me. And some people also like uh, are asking me how to start. So, Alhamdulillah, Allah is also giving me chance to help other to to help others to convert. And it's really a blessing and a privilege for me to help others to convert. And... Uh, to embrace this religion so it won't be easy about me my parents they easily accepted it yeah it will take maybe two or three months for them to accept it but once they see you who you are and once they feel that you change from the old one to a new one which is first the better they will ask you what happened to you how i speak it's different my tone of my voice the tone before it's like super high and I'm always like saying bad words so they notice that I'm totally different so by the way I present myself to them and to other people it's my way it's our way to show them what Islam is without saying anything without you know pushing or forcing them and without even trying to explain what Islam is no you don't need to do so don't you know you don't need to do such things by just being yourself and being a good example as a Muslim, they will follow you. This is how you invite people to our religion. It's becoming a good example. The way you speak and the way you treat others, that's how you will invite them to be a Muslim. Because this is what happened to me. So inshallah, I'm hoping, may Allah, you know, Allah may grant my prayers soon like my parents my family my son will be embracing also this religion you know that's my wish before i die for them to also embrace islam <laughs> same like what happened to me because i want them to feel happy like me now so inshallah god will will grant my prayer that you know my family and my son will soon be Muslims like me. So, you know, inshallah everything will be okay and uh, all our prayers will be granted. So, I'm sorry, maybe I'm speaking too much now. But, you know, I'm very happy to share my stories with you guys. And, um, again, I'm encouraging everybody to share your stories with stories of new Muslims. So this group is so amazing and it really helps us reverts and new converts to know more about Muslim and to inspire us what Islam is all about. So um, <laughs> thank you everybody for listening and for watching me now. Um, I wish uh, somehow uh, you get uh, something from me and um, I was able to express fully and I was able to share you um, my full feelings and how it started, how I embrace uh, Islam. So it takes time. It took time for me to embrace it. But you know, everything happens for reason everything happens in the right time and I owe my life to Allah where he puts me now and 
I won't ever change my religion. I'll die as a Muslim. I can guarantee that. And uh, I wish more, 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 more humans will find the peace and goodness in this religion. So thank you so much for listening, everybody. Have a great day. Juma Mubarak. It's Friday today. So thank you and uh, have a great day ahead. It's time to cut my video now. I'm taking too long already. So thank you. Salam alaikum, everybody. So God bless everyone. May Allah grant us peace and happiness. Thank you.